or as one American music writer put it, mega huge. A bunch of down under stars with the magic of the Beatles. Well, Beatles or not, Crowded House have already sold more than three million records. But uh, Rick Burnett found the young stars busking on the streets of Adelaide. If you remember the antics of rock band Split Ends with lead singer Tim Finn, you'll no doubt notice some similarities in the presence and sound of Crowded House. I think as a band we're kind of more, we allow things to happen more naturally. Split Ends was quite a highly conceived, well when we had an image, it was a highly conceived one. Lead singer Neil Finn used to be in Split Ends with brother Tim, but after Tim chose to go solo, Neil and Split Ends drummer Paul Hester joined bass player Nick Seymour and formed Crowded House. The thing that you really don't in imagine is the, the, the things that people will write about you or say about you. What sort of things do you mean though? Oh, uh, Crowded House. Three years ago, three guys were born. They can do no wrong. <laughs> that sort of stuff, you know, I mean, like, all we've ever done is made mistakes, one after the other. Yeah. And, you know, we sort of enjoy them. We cherish our mistakes and our, you know, the, the, the way that we're not, we don't, we're not very good and we're very inarticulate in interviews. We, you know, that's us, you know, year of the bloke and all that. So are you the clowns of the rock industry? We've, you know, fooled around and stuff and interviews and things, but it is a cause of concern if you start to become known as clowns, because obviously it undermines that, that you, the fact that your music might be taken seriously. And while Crowded House is making millions and racing up the overseas rock and roll charts, Adelaide presented a chance to recall the days when a buck was earned the hard way. Do you know who these guys are? Um, Crowded House. I didn't, but my daughter told me. <laughs> so, what do you think of them? I think they're very good. Not my cup of tea, though. Do you think they could make the big time? They might. So we say it like somebody clear back then. It was a crowded house in a crowded street with this impromptu concert in Adelaide's Rundle Mall. Well, why go busking? Ah, well, roots, that, mate. Roots. That was because You've got to stay true to your roots. Because you can't forget your roots. God knows I haven't forgotten any of mine. Oh, I never busked when I was unsuccessful, that's the thing. I've only ever done it since I've been successful, so it's, it's a weird turnaround, you know. What would you say if I said they made $50,000 a night doing this? I don't know. They I'll do. Drop. <laughs> Request. Fine, you think of a song. Massive. And we'll ruin it for you. You were described as having the magic that the Beatles had. <laughs> now, what do you think of that? I'd rather have the bank account over the <laughs> lack of a pigeonhole. It is. <laughs> to me, it's it is. like it's ba basically you know. boils down to bad journalism because it, it's there's lack of adjectives there. They, they have not got enough. Um, sort of scope or, you know, to be able to, and just to use the Beatles thing is really stupid. The world's a bit short of, of um, bands that play songs in a simple and unadorned manner and have a bit of charm when they do interviews. There's not many around and uh, I think you only have to be a little bit charming and a little bit, and play the songs in a traditional way and you're like the Beatles, you know, all of a sudden, which is totally mis mistaking what the Beatles were, really. <laughs> for you to maintain the energy and to turn it on all the time in the way that you do? It's hard work. So, I mean, I think as long as we've got the motivation to put the hard work in, then it'll, um, it'll always look easy. <laughs> but as soon as it, uh, it, we start to feel it's difficult to go on stage and actually motivate ourselves, we're not going to be much point in being on stage. People are going to sense it. Right, we're on.
That's why I tell you you better be home soon. There they were, just a little bit charming. Rick Burnett with a parent's guide to crowded house.